Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I am super excited to talk to you about SMS authentication using Azure Active Directory. This is passwordless coming to life. Let me show you what I mean by that. Before we jump into things, I need to be clear that this is a preview feature. It's in beta. It's still being developed. So please use this at your own risk, but take advantage of this in your lab environment and in your pre-production environments to evaluate it, give Microsoft feedback, and kick the tires on to see how this can help you and your enterprise, especially with those users that are maybe first-line workers or users that you're trying to de deploy passwordless technology to. Okay, there's some requirements we have to meet here before we even consider this. First, obviously you need an active Azure subscription and there needs to be an Azure Active Directory tenant associated with that subscription. You need to be a global admin to be able to do this. And most importantly, you have to be licensed correctly. And here you can see the different license types that you'll need. Okay, there are some limitations here as well. And you'll note these on the screen that SMS-based authentication is not compatible with multi-factor authentication. Also, with the exception of Teams, SMS-based authentication isn't currently compatible with the native Office apps, the desktop apps. And it isn't recommended for B2B accounts, like guest accounts, and federated users won't be able to authenticate in their home tenant. So let's take a look at this a little bit more detail by doing a demo. Okay, so to set this up, I have to go into the Azure Active Directory Administrator portal here, and I go down to security on the left side, and under security, I'm gonna click on authentication methods. And here I'll have a new method for text message. Now I've already enabled this, and I've assigned this to Alex Wilbur, my test user. Now in production, I probably would do this to a security group, maybe even a dynamic security group, keying off of some sort of attribute in the directory. But for now, we're just gonna assign it to Alex. Now I'm gonna go back to my directory here and I'm gonna pull up Alex's user account. And under his user account, I'm gonna to go to authentication methods and I'm gonna type in his phone number. Now, this has to be in a full E164 format. So plus, and then the country code and then the area code and then the NPA and NXX. So once I've entered that in, I'm gonna save that. And then to test this, we're gonna pull up. Oh, by the way, before we do that, we need to make sure he has appropriate license assigned. And so I've already assigned an appropriate license here. Remember I told you about the licensing requirements earlier. So now let's test this. So we're gonna open up a new and private browsing session and we're just gonna to go to the Office portal. And let's sign in using this new method. So I'm gonna type in the phone number here, click Next, and it's going to tell me that it's associated with one more account, that's true. So I'm just gonna choose this work or school account. And then it's gonna send me a code. So let's go ahead and get that code. There it is. And it's 405527. Sign in. Sure, let's stay signed in. And we're logged in at this point. And just to show you, it's Alex up in the upper right-hand corner. There's Alex. Boom, done. So the interesting thing about this is I can create a user account in Azure Active Directory. And when I create that user account in Azure Active Directory, I don't have to necessarily assign a password. Now the system will automatically generate a password. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, let's give this a, a username here. I could have it automatically generate a password. And when we do that, let's pull up the new user account here. And when we do that, the user is now created. So I never have to tell them their password. They could use SMS-based authentication and be signed in and hey, it's a way to go passwordless. Now I know what you're thinking, Matt, there's definitely security risks to using SMS, SMS for authentication. And I absolutely agree with you, right? Uh, let's talk about some of that really quick. So the first risk that comes to mind is SMS can easily be compromised and intercepted and spoofed. Absolutely, right? Um, and the second risk that I think about is somebody could port a phone number over uh, and then immediately port that over to another phone and then be able to uh, take advantage of all those SMS messages to authenticate. Yeah, I mean, look, it's absolutely a risk, but this is a feature that not only allows you to go passwordless, but it's also unique for things like first-line workers. Think about a retail worker or a person in a healthcare environment. 
where they maybe don't need a password, but they just need to be able to sign in. I could think of a dozen different scenarios here. Okay, folks, I, th I think that this was an amazing feature. Uh, I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are too. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I love making these videos. I make these directly on your feedback. In fact, this video came from a question in the comments from another video. So please feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have questions, if you wanna see new videos, let me know. And by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.